<laughs> Are you ready for the new moon in Libra? I think one of the key points with this new moon will be a new sense of balance coming forward. The new moon in Libra marks the beginning of a new cycle, obviously, right? The phase of the moon occurs at 5 degrees and 20 minutes of Libra, affecting people born with personal planets and points at approximately 1 to 9 degrees of the cardinal signs, which are Aries, Cancer, Libra, and Capricorn most significantly, but it will affect all of us. This new moon will help us integrate the lessons the month has brought our way, and a lot has happened in September. It's really hard to believe the month is almost over, isn't it? All through September, we were being encouraged to get organized, to clear up the clutter, cut the extra expenses, and to rework our schedules. It has been a big drive to really understand what we're focusing on, where we're putting our attention, and if it's working <laughs> or not, to get it under control. And this is happening because we're changing at such a rapid rate right now. We're being pushed to really look at how and what we focus on. Is it a reflection of the new being that you're becoming? And is this how you want to spend your time? Or did it just sort of evolve from you not resisting other people's agendas? Did you just kind of go along to get along and now voila, you're living a life based on someone else's needs while your own go out the window? Mm, where's the balance in that, right? This new moon will make it much easier to get to the bottom of this and make the necessary changes. With this energy guiding us, we'll be able to take all that we've learned and integrate it in a way that brings us both ease and balance into our lives. So we're talking about a new authentic type of balance, not just writing on the calendar that we're going to take, you know, half a day for self-care and then maybe bumping it because somebody needs something, right? But about being an authentic balance and owning our schedule, owning our time, and being responsible for our own self-care. All of this, of course, is needed to help us transit into 2020. Because we are in Libra season right now with the Libra new moon, you might also have a really strong need for that balance and you really want harmony. While you might, you know, roll your eyes, let's say if your boss asks you to work overtime this week, chances are good you're not going to say anything. You'll just do it because you don't want to make a scene. You want to keep it nice, you want to get along, you don't want to make waves. But the lesson here that Libra brings forward is about being authentic, and that means sharing your good and bad feelings. Now, I'm not giving you a license to melt down or become a drama queen, because that's not what this is about. It's about standing your ground before you get to that point, before you become so angry because you've repressed all these emotions that you can't control it. It's about not being afraid to actually be who you are. And if that means, no, you can't work weekends because you've got kids and you've got things going on and you just can't do it. You can't work overtime. Or if you have friends that are more demanding than, than you would like, it's about standing up to them. It's really about finding your internal balance, setting those boundaries, and then sticking to them before things get out of hand. Libra likes balance, of course, but it also likes harmony and peace to be the center. Everyone gets a vote. Everyone gets the same amount of attention. That's why Libras are known for being such great parents, because they treat everyone equally and fairly. When they're not being treated fairly, though, they have a really hard time expressing this because they check themselves and think it must be them, rather than thinking the person is taking advantage of them. Because in Libra's world, they don't want to see the, the darker side of people, which is awesome. But unfortunately, there are times when people come from their shadow or come from maybe um, another direction and are a little bit maybe self-centered and don't think about the impact that their action or their words have on other people. That's a big lesson with this Libra energy. So definitely write those abundance checks. Use this energy to collaborate with partners. Libra will make you more willing to negotiate to see the other people's point of view. So use this for greater clarity on some of those situations where perhaps you're not standing your ground. And also during this time, people enjoy spending money on things that they feel are beautiful and elegant, so just be aware of that. <laughs> if it's not in the budget, maybe you need to wait a week or so before you buy it. Let's see. Also, I want to talk to you about Venus and Scorpio, but I think I'll do another video on that because it's, yeah, because it's going to be from October the 8th to November the 1st, and it's going to really impact us. But I think I'll, I'll cover that in another video. 
Thank you guys so much for being a part of the Serenity family. I hope you found this little mini update <laughs> helpful and I will speak to you soon. Reiki blessings. Bye-bye.